guys so i am coming back on cam with a quick hairstyle i set my hair in these these are medium large girl look at that disaster we're gonna get into it though i set my hair in these medium large perm rods the night before i'm gonna show you the products i use later on in the clip i basically used a lot of body the blue and um what is her name a mish leave-in conditioner now my hair is semi blown out when I mean semi is that I did not blow it out to where it was basically a blowout. I just blowed it out to where it was dry, if that makes sense. The reason why my hair is lackluster here on the bottom is because I don't think that I used enough product. I don't think that I used enough leave-in conditioner. I don't think I used enough of the wrapping mousse. Um, I've done perm rods enough to know. I could tell... Uh, I could honestly tell while I was setting it that, okay, Vivian, you may want to add a little bit more. This is why on the top, you see how it's more defined? I started adding more product on the top of the crown of my head on the sides, and I should have went back and added more to those bottom ones, but I'm lazy. Yeah, I'm lazy. So I'm going to just continue to unravel my hair. I wanted to wear my hair in the half up, half down. But that is not going to work, not with all the different um, results I'm getting. So continuing to take out the perm rods and then I'm going to separate.
So yes, I'm going to end up doing a high puff. Now normally when I do, I've done a high puff probably three or four times on a perm rod set. Normally it's an old perm rod and I typically have used smaller perm rods. When you use these bigger, look, the bigger perm rods is for you to have fluffier curls. And because my hair is so long at the crown of my head, it's going to fall front. So I, I'm going to be honest, I struggle a bit. Oh girl, I struggle a bit with this particular style because this wasn't the style I wanted. And because the way my curls are falling, I'm going to have to basically manipulate these curls. I probably use... I'm not even exaggerating, 15 to 20, uh, excuse me, 15 to 20 bobby pins to try to secure my hair on top of my head. So let's go. Alright y'all, so here is the final look. All the bobby pins are in place, so yeah. Alright you guys, so I piled all my hair up on the top like this. And I'm telling you, I have several bobby pins. First of all, I didn't even really fluff up. I have several bobby pins to keep the shape. Um, if it was a little bit more curlier, I wouldn't have this problem. But since I used the larger perm rods, and I ended up putting my hair up. I wanted to do my hair half up, half down, basically. But this side at the bottom is looking a little. So. Okay. I will probably add some more perm rods in certain areas tomorrow night. Like, not tonight, tomorrow night. And um, yeah, that is it. I'm going to show y'all my outfit. So this outfit, I got the sweater dress along with this scarf at Ross for only 15 bucks, baby. It said extra large, but it fits like a medium. Simple button earrings I got from Walmart years ago, and I purchased this red handbag from Ross too. It was like 30 bucks or something. So y'all, yeah, it said extra large, but it's fitting kind of tight, and baby, she is a little short, but it is date night, and with my black tights and, and boots, I think I pull it off. So going to pair it with my winter jacket because it's cold out here in Phoenix, y'all. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye